This is so funny. I had recorded a video that was about over nine minutes long and the whole thing was sideways when I watched it. So I'm pretty sure nobody wants to sit there and watch a video with their hair cock their head cocked like this. Because that's no fun. It actually hurts. But anyway, hello beautiful people of YouTube. I am posting a video. Yes I am. Go me. Go me. Go me. Go me. Go me. Yeah, that was corny. Anyway, I'm posting a video. Um, I've been a on YouTube as a perpetual subscriber for about two years now, year and a half, something like that, and never posted a video, so this will be my first. I'm not sure if it'll be my last, but we'll see. I am posting this video because I wanted to share a little bit of an experience. I guess I would consider it somewhat of an experience of me washing my hair now as you can see my hair is curly but guess what this ain't my curl this is free trust curl baby yeah it is what yes it is anyway so <laughs> my hair is under hair my hair is uh curly i am natural by the way I just put it in these crochet braids because I saw a lot of other beautiful naturals here with them in, so I decided to put them in. But that's neither here nor there. The reason why I am posting this video, as I said, is because I wanted to share a little bit of an experience with you guys that I feel it has not really been posted except for maybe like one video that I found on YouTube of me washing my hair or the synthetic hair and just that experience I've had my crochet braids in sorry I've had my crochet braids in for about I would say yeah it's been three weeks it was three weeks yesterday before that I think Thursday I started to do some research to see if I can actually wash the braids because I have dry scalp yes let's get that out there right now I have dry scalp. I've always had dry scalp from the time I was really young. And I'm finding now that I'm natural, I have to be really, really careful with my hair um, and what I put on my scalp. Now, I've tried to not wash the hair, but, excuse me, I have tried to do the methods of, because I did watch a lot of maintenance videos, which there are a lot of maintenance videos on the crochet braids. In which, like one method I tried where you use witch hazel and you just focus on your scalp. You use that in a cotton pad and you just clean your scalp and then you oil it or put in some kind of leave-in. That for me only worked for about like a day or so and then after that my hair would start itching again. Now, I was going a little nuts because my hair wasn't at the point where I wanted to take it out. But it was getting there and I didn't want to get so frustrated because my goal was to keep the hair in for about a month or at least about two months maybe. Maybe like a month and a half. So I didn't want to take it out only after three weeks. So I was trying to find something. I was trying to do research on YouTube to see if there were any videos to show anybody washing their hair. I tried and tried and tried to no avail. You know, as I said, I saw a lot of maintenance videos, but not really any videos where people spoke about actually washing the hair. I did find one video, and it was pretty much just a bunch of still pictures, and the woman that posted it just said, you know, yes, you could wash your crochet braids, but I really wanted to see if there was more information on it, because I didn't just want to go by one video that I found. I went on Google, I started a search, you know, I put in, can you wash crochet braids? That's exactly what I put in. And I got a lot of different forums, I got some blogs, things like that. And the one blog that really, that stood out for me, um, that really made me want to wash the hair, um, was, I think her name is black 
black something. It's not coming to me right now. But she had crochet braids and she said, you know, the things that she learned about her braids was that, yes, you can wash them. And she went into detail about what she did and all that. So after all my research, because I try not to do anything before I do research on it. I did that and I just will explain, you know, I don't have the equipment, unfortunately, to be able to show you guys what I did, but I will tell you, I know some of you are probably screaming and saying, okay, well, what, what is the purpose of your video? What you're just sitting here telling me, I'll get back to that later. Anyway, so what I did was I took a spray bottle, I put in some shampoo, diluted it with water. I, sp I got into the shower, put my head back in the water, let the hair get wet, let the water run off, made sure I got in, in between all the cornrows and all of that. Took the spray bottle, sprayed the shampoo, and within each, uh, in between each braid, I made sure that I took the ball of my fingers like this and I just rubbed in that shampoo and I did that all the way through my hair. And then rinsed it out. I got another spray bottle that had conditioner and I mixed two conditioners in that spray bottle. I had a, a mixture of VO5, I can't remember the exact kind, um, maybe I'll annotate it at the bottom if I can, as well as um, the Hello Hydration. I mixed both of those into a spray bottle and mixed it with water once again shook that up, sprayed the conditioner onto my scalp, rubbed that in again with the balls of my fingers. I did not rinse it out. I did run like put my hair under the water really really quickly, but because I do have a leave-in conditioner and the leave-in con conditioner that I have is the Cantu Shea Butter. I didn't want to use that because I did not think of it until after the fact so I just used that as my leave-in and then once I got out I dried my hair this way just by squeezing the hair I didn't rough the hair up at all because I didn't want it to get frizzy and then once I got out I took my bottle that has my pure coconut oil in it and it has the little um, concentrator nozzle on top of it and just went in once again in between the cornrows and oiled my scalp and now I'm just waiting for my hair to dry so I wanted to share that with you to let you guys know you can wash the hair and if you do decide to wash it don't be rough with the hair don't like vigorously rub the hair because you have to think about the fact that it's not yours it is synthetic and it is prone to frizzing so you don't want that to happen and totally blow out the style so I did not do that at all when I rinsed out the condition, the shampoo. I just put my head under the water, you know, parted my hair, made sure that the water got in between each part, and then that was it for me. Once again, I dried the hair just by squeezing it like this. Sorry about the quality. As you can see, I'm taping from my phone, so it's not the best quality. And that was it. Now, going back to what I said earlier about, you know, I know there are going to be some people screaming at the screen like, okay, well, why are you posting this video? I should have started off this video with this, but I just want to say my intention for posting this video, this video is two things. My first intention is to post it to say, yes, you can wash the hair and as you could well you can't really see my hair is still kind of dripping wet but it's getting it's drying out um you can wash the hair I do want to say that um my hair as I said is still wet and I'm just waiting for it to dry and the second reason for me posting this video or a second intention for me in posting this video is just to help somebody because I'm pretty sure if I had the question there's going to be somebody out there that has the same question so if you have any other questions, if you need me to go into any more detail, just post it below and I will try to get back to you um, as soon as I can. And as I said, this is my first video. I don't know if it's going to be my only video, but I just wanted to post this because the spirit moved me. So I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone and this is the Perpetual Subscriber signing off. Have a great New Year's. Bye.